Hi, it's Malcolm here and welcome to another Greyhound card software video. So in this video, we are going to look at a lay system based on a backing system, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Well, hopefully if you stay tuned, you'll find out exactly what it's about. This is the Cash Out Trading Channel and I hope you enjoy this video. OK, so let's start with um, We've got this column here called all and it's if you can see it's ranked by one, two, three and four. So we can rank that down. So one, two, three, four. Now, you know, it's here. Number one, one. Now, I want you to make a note of this. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens a lot that one of the winners will come from one, two, three, four. So a lot of members are actually using that to um, back a certain number of runners in the race. They might back you know, the top three, or they might do a Dutch or something like that. But I want to show you something slightly different. Now, as I said, they don't win all the time. And it, it's not something that's 100% reliable like this one here. Um, but the other thing you want to think about is if you are going to lay runners outside this one, two, three, four, I just, um, yeah, if you're going to lay runners outside this one, two, three, four, you, you want to be a little bit, um, careful on price you don't want to put yourself you know into the nines and stuff like that not on greyhounds because greyhounds can be funny but so that's the first loser okay so we just make a note of that okay so all oh, one two three four so third one again quite often the winner comes from one two three actually four is kind of in between so five six maybe i don't know it seems a little bit high so one, two, three, four. So four did win that time. So and 6.4 is coming down a bit. Now, if we think about RS, this RS column, that's always a good one to go on when that figure is low there. So we're starting to build up an idea. We, we know that one, two, three, four, often one of those will win. So we've got five and six here. Now, six is my favorite of the two. So out of these two, we've got an RS of four and RS of two. That one's two, the lower price. Whether 6.4 is still a little bit high, I'm unsure. Let's go to the next race. So we go all one, two, three, four. And in this case, five actually won the race, but 11.5, 14.5. We wouldn't have, you know, bothered. I wouldn't have bothered with six because I'd have been a little bit worried about that QRT of one. Not saying that. It's an absolute that a QRT of one will win a race, especially if it's not favourite. But it's something to think about. Um, but th those prices are just too high. We can't we can't be there. There's no point. So one, two, three, four, five run away. So we add a six and a two. But again, a QRT of one at nine point eight four up there. So we're not going to find a hell of a lot of these every day. But one, two, three, four. Um, the winner came from there. So we had this one here, fifth. Um, RS is seven. That's a little bit higher than I like, six or low. Um, it wasn't the favourite. Now, these, to be honest with you, second favourites are my favourites to go on. Um, but anyway, so we could have won on that one. Um, that's seven, a little bit in between. I like six or below. So one, two, three, four wins on four again. So we've got a five here, a five, a three, a two. Quite an acceptable selection, wouldn't you think? I think it probably would be. So we go again. Ah, oh, low race. Not too sure about this one. One, two, three, four. It did win. Good, strong favourite there. So it didn't really leave us with a lot on those. One, two, three, four. So we got a five and a six and a six and a six. That one had been too high. Um, and so a six there. Big nice win again so if you were aiming for one point a day you would have got that already by by using one of these um lower price ones don't go on high price ones whatever you do so one two three four win one wins again so we're left with well it's a five runner race five that's a 10 probably well 27 wouldn't have been on that one so one two three four one one again mm, a little bit high five and six and we've got no QRT, that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, one again. So we've got a favourite here. Always a little bit dodgy favourites, but six, three, and a four. 
really it's not a dead strong favorite so it might be okay to be on that one at 3.12 one two three four so three one um got a 5.5 there six two it's the one as i said that's the one that i'm still not too sure about but you can kind of make up your own mind about that so one two three four um five one this time it was the favorite and as i said and it is a one so you know on favorites ones are you do have to be careful so but we got a six there too but the price was a bit high but you know that gives you an idea of you know how it can work out one two two three um yeah i'm not too sure about well prices are too high there anyway one two three four so it wins on four 12 nothing there again shame one two three four so we're outside again favorite again nine so we had this six here at four at 663 wasn't too bad a little bit high but you know i prefer maximums of fives sometimes go to sixes i don't know it would have been high but i'm only kind of showing you the idea one two three four five run away so nothing really there one two three wins so did we have anything here no four um five seven five that's probably a bit too high one two three four um five or seven um five runner race been a bit careful on there one two three four two wins again oh we've got this one here five and a four so we've got six and four and three so um, one again and outside you know the, the more I look at these the more I kind of think well oh, maybe QRT is not the one to go on but anyway you can make up your own mind about that if you have a look at it but there is a potential there 949 was probably a bit too high how many have we had in a row of one two three fours <laughs> so if you were dutching these yeah you'd probably be doing all right we just had that one loser um one two three four again so we've got a five a three a six a four point six so that would have been a quite a nice selection so you can see that there's two things going on here uh, one two three four seems to win a lot and um, it has days where it doesn't do quite as well as other days but generally it you can select one two three four and you've got a good chance of getting a winner within those four um and as you can see one after the other um and then you look at the other two and decide whether one of those is worth laying so you know i like six as i said but it's getting those ones that are in the price range that you prefer and then working it out from there um rs of six and lower is my favorite sevens it's a matter of going well i could take a risk because that one's higher maybe i can take a little bit more risk that kind of thing so i think we'll leave it there but that's the the idea is that you you look at one two three four um maybe you can make some other decisions on whether one two three four is likely to win you know if it's got 11s i mean if you look here 11 11 9 9 the highest four rs column are here as well um they got quite low on twos threes fours and fives that would be nicer if it's one two three four and five or that kind of thing um but you know that maybe look at it a little bit more like that just and then just decide whether yeah you like the idea of that one two three four one of those winners so you could either you could touch that i suppose but i think the the real method is in the lays um and whether you can you can make a profit from the lays by going on you know one that's low um high on qrt um high on all five or six and low on rs really but anyway um i hope you find that useful um to have a look at that it's an, just another idea that i come up with from time to time as you know i'm always coming up with ideas for this software okay thanks for watching and if you're watching this on youtube please give it a thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and i'll let you know when new videos come out thank you again see you soon Bye bye